Hi, good evening, everyone. It's great to see you all here. And thanks to Dr. Jonas for that very warm welcome. And to Maury House for uh, having us here tonight. It's a real pleasure to read with Rahul. Rahul and I first met, I think, two or three years ago in London. Um, I had already read his book and impressed, been impressed with how sensitive and truthful it was. And then I met the man, and I was similarly impressed by how sensitive and truthful he is, and also kind of jealous by how well he does the Creolese, you know, better than I could, in fact. Um, so it's just really lovely to be here with you. Um, my book is a narrative history. Uh, in other words, it has a storyline, and it's a pretty classic and clean storyline. It's structured as a journey, um, or a series of journeys, actually. Kuli Woman uh, reconstructs the journey of my great-grandmother uh, from India to Guyana in 1903. Uh, and it traces the journeys of indentured women as a group, really. Um, their psychological as well as their physical journeys. Um, but it's also a personal journey uh, that begins in Kanji in 1981, uh, the moment my family left for the US as immigrants. Um, the book ends uh, with my returning to Guyana as both a reporter and a researcher. Um, my relationship with the country over the last couple of years has gone through interesting transformations. Uh, it started out as kind of nostalgia, perhaps even disappointed nostalgia, and it's become something much more meaningful as I've come back again and again, I've formed uh, relationships, new connections, new friendships. Um, and I see some friends here, so thank you all for coming out, and thanks for your support. Um, this is actually the last stop on my book tour. I've been traveling now for six months uh, with the book. I've gone to Delhi, Toronto, London, uh, Calcutta, several places in the US. And it just seems very fitting uh, that I'm ending it right here in Guyana, where this story began. Uh, so I'm going to read a couple of passages from the book.